Nicely for the uh, festival there. I understand we got a little rain to get through in the next couple days. The next before couple cruise. of days, yes. Yeah, so we have a couple showers out there right now, mainly in the far west, southwest suburbs, everywhere else. We're actually enjoying partly sunny conditions. But here's what we're stuck with for the next few days. So we have this low pressure system that's centered off to our northwest, and this is very slowly going to be diving to the southeast, but it's going to be influencing our weather tonight tomorrow and then still impacting us on Wednesday. So the radar right now, we have some pretty heavy downpours coming down in the southwestern sections of LaSalle County. Unfortunately, this thing's really not moving. So we're likely seeing some ponding on the roadways, possibly some localized flooding there because we are dealing with some very heavy rain in that portion of the county and it's been coming down for the last hour or so, but pretty much everywhere else things are really quiet. But again, zooming things in, we have those really heavy downpours stretching from the south side of Ottawa down toward Farm Ridge and then back toward uh, looks like Tonica. We are seeing some of those very heavy downpours, some lightning with this too, but it is not severe. It's not expected to become severe. But tomorrow, we are in a marginal risk, which means isolated severe thunderstorms may be possible. Mainly during the afternoon hours of your Tuesday, we could be seeing damaging wind gusts, maybe some hail as well. So future cast, here's this low pressure system. It's going to continue to dive to the southeast, bringing us a couple rounds of showers and storms. This is a look at 7 a.m. tomorrow. We're still dealing with some scattered showers moving through, but they're likely going to become more numerous during the afternoon. And again, heavy downpours may be possible with really any of the showers or storms that roll through on Tuesday. Day. And then even looking ahead to Wednesday, notice the coverage isn't going to be quite as high as what we're dealing with on Tuesday, but many of us still likely going to get in on some of that rain action on Wednesday before we begin to dry things out Wednesday night. For tonight, 63, we'll have east-southeasterly winds, 5 to 15 miles per hour. Your seven-day forecast, low 70s tomorrow, good chance of rain. We still see a good chance of showers on Wednesday with a high of 69, then finally drying things out on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We are counting on sunshine, 74 degrees on, on Friday. We're close to 80 degrees then on both Saturday and Sunday. By Monday, we're beginning to cloud things back up, but the warmth, that continues.